this lesson, we'll be teaching you how to fill a burette. What are the apparatus that you need? You need the solution that you'll be filling the burette, the ionized water, a glass beaker as the waste beaker, glass funnel, a burette, and the burette clip. First, you will have to fit the burette clip onto the burette. Make sure that the parts of the clip clipping the burette is as close as possible to the ring of the clip. Once done, you may now proceed to rinse the burette with deionized water. Ensure that all rinsing takes place in the basin. Fill the burette with deionized water. and allow the deionized water to run through the tip of the burette by opening the clip. Once that is done, proceed to clean the top part of the burette. While washing the top part of the burette, roll the burette to allow deionized water to clean the burette thoroughly. Repeat this procedure two times. Next, proceed to clean the glass funnel using deionized water. Once the glass funnel is clean, position the burette with the retort stand onto the stool. Next, place the clean glass funnel onto the top of the burette. Now you may begin to rinse the burette with your solution that you are going to fill the burette with. Fill the burette with about half of the solution. Next, bring the burette to the basin. Open the clip to allow the solution to run through the tip of the burette. Once that is done, rinse the top of the burette. Clip the burette back onto the retort stand. While doing this, make sure that the burette sit nicely onto the grooves of the clamp. Now you may proceed to fill the burette with the solution that you will be using for the titration. Place the glass funnel back onto the burette. Slowly pour the solution into the burette through the glass funnel. Pour the solution until it is slightly above the 0 cubic centimeters mark. Remove the glass funnel. Position the waste beaker at the bottom of the burette. Now, open the clip to empty the solution until a marking that you are comfortable to start the titration with. Once you are done, 
ensure that there are no air bubbles on the tip of the burette and observe the solution level at eye level using the bottom of the meniscus as a guide. This will be the initial reading that you will record down for your burette reading.